Welcome to the spoken tutorial on device model creation and simulation using eSIM. In this tutorial, using eSIM we will learn how to create device model, add or remove parameters of device model, save the device model, upload the external device model. To record this tutorial, we will use Ubuntu Linux 16.04, eSIM version 1.1.2. To practice this tutorial, basic knowledge of analog and digital electronics is required. To launch eSIM, double click on the eSIM icon on your desktop. The eSIM window opens up. Now, let us create a device model library for a diode. Click on the model editor button on the left toolbar. Click on new and type the model name as diode underscore test. Click on OK. Now select the diode category. The basic parameters of a diode is displayed. We will keep the same for our diode model and edit it later. Click on the save button at the top of the model editor window. Now close the model editor window. Let us run our diode model using an example. Open the diode characteristic example from the examples folder. Please note the example folder is located in eSIM-1.1.2 folder which you have downloaded while installing. From projects, double click on the diode characteristics example. Open the schematic and view the circuit. Now minimize the schematic window. Click on Convert KiCad to NGSpice button on the left toolbar. Don't change the previous values in the Analysis and the Source Details tab. Next, click on the Device Modeling tab and then click on Add button at the right of the text box. Select Diode underscore test from the Diode folder. Now, click on the Convert button at the bottom of the window. Click on OK in the Confirmation dialog box. After this, close the KiCad to NGSpice window. Click on Simulation button on the left toolbar and check the output. Let us now edit our device model to recheck the output. Click on Model Editor button on the left toolbar. Click on Edit button at the top of the Model Editor window. Then select Diode underscore test from the Diode folder. We can add and remove parameters in the model. To do so, click on Add to add a parameter and remove to remove a parameter. Now we will modify the parameter values to check the effect on the model. Double click on the value of n and change the value from 1.679 to 4.679. Click on the save button at the top of the model editor window. Now Close the model editor window. Now, click on Convert KiCad to NGSpice button on the left toolbar. Click on the Device Modeling tab. Add our modified diode underscore test from the diode folder. Click on the Convert button at the bottom of the window. Click OK on the Confirmation dialog box. Now, Click on Simulation button from the left toolbar and check the modified output. Notice 
the change in the output plot. Now let us upload an external model file in eSIM. Click on Model Editor button on the left toolbar. Click on Upload button at the top of the Model Editor window. Go to the Diode folder and select D.LIB from it. Note, we are uploading D.LIB from Diode folder for demonstration. User can upload any .lib file from his system. The dialog box appears where we will enter the model name as D1. Now, click on the OK button in the dialog box. Now, close the model editor window. Click on Convert KiCad to NGSpice button on the left toolbar. Now, click on the Device Modeling tab. Add our modified D1 from User Libraries folder. Click on the Convert button at the bottom of the window. Now, click on OK in the Confirmation dialog box. Lastly, click on the Simulation button from the left toolbar and check the modified output. Now, let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned how to create device model, add or remove parameters of device model, save the device model, upload the external device model. Here is the assignment for you to solve. Create the full way bridge rectifier circuit using the d.lib model file in eSIM and simulate it. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Please post your general queries on eSIM in this forum. The FOSI team coordinates the textbook companion project. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD Government of India. For more details, visit this website. This is Usha from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you.